Hey guys, uh, is the audio okay and can you hear me loud and clear? Hi hi guide! Hey there warm waffle! Hey there Tony! Hey there sheepless! Hey there mud shark! Hey there Imho! Hey there, Steven. Hey there, Naomi. Excellent. Uh, yeah, uh, so I've kind of been streaming uh, two episodes of this game uh, up till now uh, as unlisted streams because I really wanted to just test how things would work out. And during that time, we connected a couple of cities uh, in the game. And I was thinking that we could continue to connect. And today, I thought we could try to connect Frekkefjord with Brumendal to Trondheim. And I really want to try to connect the regional service that I have built. Of from Oslo to Karda, Kongsvinger, and then over the mountain. As you can see, it's like really graded and steep, and down to Trondheim, and from there to Kristiansund. So that is actually what I had in, in plan. And I've also been looking at the money-making service over here, where I have some grain trucks. Uh, which transport grain to produce food uh, to bring it to Yesheim. And then from there it actually picks up wood and up to the sawmill and down to the tool factory and they bring tools to Hamad. And this uh, system actually generates a lot of money, uh, but I see that... I've been seeing that it kind of... the production from the sawmill and and the forests are bigger than or higher than I can actually transport on the road. So I was actually thinking about converting the wood service that goes to uh, goes to the factory into train. So yeah, that is hopefully what we will be covering today. So first off, I think we're going to try and build a line from Frekkefjord <laughs> to Brumendal and from Brumendal to Trondheim and establish a connection point so it is possible to connect Kongsvinger and Trondheim and Kristiansund at the same time. So yeah, let's get started. So we already have a line going here. Uh, into city service between Brevik and Brumendal. So what I'm thinking of is like branching off here and try to go down the coastline or side of the river and down to Frekkefjord. And <clears throat> to make try to make the best of it, I think I'm going to try and put the station down here. So then we have to do some severe changes to the landscape so this is probably going to be like really expensive but thankfully uh i have a lot of money in the bank account right now and we are generating a lot of money due to that truck service let's see we need a bigger brush Let's see where's the tram stop. The tram stop is there. I think I'm going to try to move that to here. Where's the next tram stop? Let's see there, there and try to move it there. It's the station somewhere like here. There. 
Now let's see. Uh, gonna pause it for a bit to remove those two station steps. Them here instead. That to go to buildings and place a station. We want it to be 240 meters long and we want high speed track and we want two tracks. Let's try to get this aligned as much as possible. There. Oh, thank you so much for the super chat, Naomi. There. Like that. So now we have a double track, double track station right there. And then we can start to basically place the track along the coastline and connect it here. But uh, we need to actually need to prepare this station for two new, new tracks. Oh, so yeah. Let's see. Um, well, need to configure this one and place out some new tracks. And we're gonna have passenger platforms. And to make easy passage from one platform to the other, we make some underpasses. And let's upgrade this station so these people actually have roof over their heads. That. There. Let's see. And to get as flat as possible, I guess the best place to branch off would be approximately here. Let's see. Thank you so much for the super chat, Steva. And installing some light signals for this junction right here. And see. So when I when I build the tracks, I try to keep the speed as high as possible. And um since this map is like really hilly and basically pretty pretty much like Norway. Um this was actually the first time I built a or made a map that generated a map that was had so much hills and such huge distances between the cities. Uh so I really had to rethink the whole approach and to keep the costs down. And yeah, I pretty much it's quite hard to build railway and keeping a high speed uh, in a topography like this. is to kind of hug a riverbed here. This. And we 
nicely as well. Get as high as possible. 300. No. What do we could do? 250. Make sure it connects to the right place. This one here. Like that. So now we have a station here. Uh, we already have a tram service running here. And they bring passengers from all over town down to the station. So as soon as there actually is a line going from here to Brumendard. And yeah, it will basically start going to the station and start using the service. That signal... Yeah, as well. It's gonna... This, so I have something to go by. Okay, so, and we are also going to Trondheim, Let's see, yeah. slip no I am actually gonna remove this like that going to try to do this instead want to connect. Okay. That and to make it possible for all trains to cross between tracks we will put up double slips on these. And we 
need to rebuild the depot. Actually put it between the tracks. Oh, it's safer to put it here. That. It's kind of here. And this will be able to serve all tracks. Eric, uh, I just did. I just deleted Montana, like, snap of my fingers. Okay, so now that's that, and we are actually going to make a line, new line, and we are going from Rumendard. And down to, like, if you would and back okay it's just using one track and i understand so we also need a crossover down here Now it looks better. Now let's buy a train. See, these one are really cheap, uh, or the running cost is like really low, but the max speed is 140 kilometers per hour, but they have a capacity of 136. So I think I'm going to start with one of those and see how things develop, and if it develops like really good, uh, you might go for a Stadler Kiss later. Uh, but the other models here, like the Thales and the TGV, and it's basically futile because you need huge um huge distances to get up to the speeds that they're actually able to run on and the running cost is just insane on those trains or Let's make sure that line for place the uh, yep. Hey Eric, you have to tell your cousin hello from everyone in the herd. Naomi, that would basically be awesome. That would basically just be awesome. Uh, and I would definitely say hello.
no passengers yet. But let's see how many that is actually waiting for the train down here. At the moment, just six. Let's speed this up. Yep, yep, here they come. They're going to renew those trends. And as you can see, as soon as you connect two cities together, uh, they actually benefit from each other and they, they basically start growing more and faster. Winniman? Uh, that is so true. Uh, it is actually that exact train. Seventy nine and one thirty six. We have all. No, oh, that was line one. So here we are. Seven hundred and ninety four. So still in minus. Let's speed this up and see how this goes. Definitely putting up an extra block post here to increase capacity. And see here, waiting for this train down at Flecky Fuel. The numbers are going up, 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 and up. Winniman, how are those trains? How's, are they comfortable or are they just, just made to like transport heaps amount of people and with really hard acceleration? Naomi, it's pronounced London. Eric, yeah, I actually saw the level crossing accident down at Shen today, uh, down at B Borgegård uh, Industrial Area. Uh, it looked really severe. Um, Thankfully, no one was hurt, uh, but the train completely derailed, so it's going to take some time to uh, to clean that up. And that guy in the truck who got stuck on the level crossing, he did not have a very good day at work. Two million. So now we are in the plus. This is just going to increase, 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 and increase, and that is good. Adrian? Yeah, that's correct. The level crossing, I think it's in the south end. 
on that station. So now we're going to try to connect Brumendal to Trondheim. And I want to make sure that we're actually able to extend the line that is already at Kongsvinger and make that actually go to Trondheim. So um, that can prove quite difficult because a huge mountain here and the grade of this hill here is kind of it's kind of steep as you can see so i guess the best way the most expensive way would just be tunneling straight through but that will be just like hilarious expensive so i think we're gonna go up from station around here and try to around this up like this to make it a slower climb and then basically go down through here and we will have to go through this mountain here anyway so try to do that through here and down to this area here and just set up a bus service or something like that to bring passengers down Let's see. And as you can see, there's actually some car traffic here, and they are a 25 cars that travels to seven goes to Brumendard and 19 goes to Kristiansund, and that can def that will definitely increase when we connect those two cities with or three cities with train Lars Gunnar, yeah i can totally believe that um the video uh has has everyone seen the video or should i can someone post a link or should i post the link Uh, hold on guys, uh, I will just fetch the link and post it in the chat. Just a moment. Samler dyre forbruks- og kreditlån til ett lån hos Brustet, tar vi sikkerhet i boligen din. Let's see. Here's the link. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, uh. This street here just has to go. But not totally all of it. Uh, let's see, tracks and building streets. Let's see.
there and build some tracks as well and that factory just has to go away Make sure Put them at the back side there. That would be awesome. Okay. Um so first we want to go over here, but that is basically gonna be a terminus service, or the service is gonna terminate here. So I think I'm actually gonna just put in a track right here that train can terminate on. So let's see if we can configure this station into something hmm, interesting. Platform passengers. going to need passes just to be able to connect all good here here as well these people also deserve a roof over their heads let's give these people some easy access to the platform Just that looks kind of better. mountain as flat as possible tell me confused uh departure routines are you doing like um uh oh is it called a lab or um your opgaver for uh for jernbanskorn lexer homework that was the word i was looking for homework Do this as flat as possible. Add.
You would like to see the L18, uh, Adrian, in this game or uh, or somewhere else? Oh, uh, let's go and check out the L18 then. Uh, where are you? Here you are. Patron. Adrian, I have no idea. I guess the guy who modeled it uh, just used that sound? Two forty nine. Try to keep this at two fifty. Okay. Let's see. Basically, you can maybe make it at three hundred. Nope. And two fifty, it's gonna be. Thank you. 
Trying to avoid bridges. It's deeper. Yeah, we can. Okay. Um, this is ready, kind of ready. Um, thank you so much for the super chat, Preben. Uh, let's see if Tromsø is here. I'm not, actually not sure. Um, let's see. Name. Oh, but they do have Vatsa. Signal. 
impossible to go like this and like this. So, excellent. For future traffic increase. Okay, the catchment area for this station is basically the whole town, so this is actually great. Uh, so, now let's extend this line here, line 4. Manage line, add station, uh, Brumadar, Frekkefjord, and then you need basically need to go back to Brumadar and to Trondheim. And at Trondheim, we want you to use... Excellent, this track. Is something not connected? Signal here. Okay, so here something is basically not connected. So let's see, where is it not connected? There. Hulkmaster, yeah. <laughs> and there the line map is correct as well. And on the way back to Trondheim and then coming to Frickfield, we can actually swap from this track to track number four. Like that. people wants to go here and a lot of people wants to go the other direction so I think I'm gonna to need to increase capacity here Let's see here oh the people but not so many going here and the other way it's fine okay how many trains do we have on this line two Okay, I think we're gonna need more. Which vehicle, and let's clone. Just clone it. That. Hey there, Doberman.
How many are waiting here? 55. That's actually not too bad. That was a weird station. This is definitely a weird station. <laughs> okay. Now we are going to try and connect. Our places. Oh. So we're going to connect Trondheim to Kongsvinger, and after that, we're going to tr connect Kongsvinger to Kristiansund. See how that goes. And uh, so this is going to be quite interesting. Let's see. Entrances. Uh, that looks safe. Four fifty, four fifty, okay.
Uh, Glenny, uh, I don't think... Maybe uh, there is actually some crazy places on this map that is really high up. And very mountainous, so... I think one of the freight lines might be like that, but we'll see. We'll see. From here to somewhere, could, to there, could be like a really kind of flum like route. Let's see, where are we? Here. Six fifty seven and six eighty nine. Jose Salamonte, these days you actually you don't need to be a civil engineer to uh, build railway. You just need to have some insane ideas that, ooh, this might be really good to do. And people can tell you, or the in engineers can tell you, well, um, that's not possible. Yes, it does have to be possible because I'm a politician and I need this to work. So, yeah. That is just what you need to be these days. Okay, now this is connected and now we are actually going to extend this line. Three lines. And we want you, after Kongsving it, to go to Trondheim and then back to Ferda. Oh, hold on. That is not right. Uh, after Kongsving it, we want you to go there and back to Kongsving it. Okay, so not connected again. Yeah.
still not connected. Oh yeah. Uh, Sure. Forty-seven or fifty passengers. That's basically what we see on the trains today. Would I do it? Yeah, that would... Yeah, if it's possible to make a megalomaniac map that goes basically from Kongsvingen down to Oslo, that would be king, basically. Eric Kravik, uh, if I've driven the LA team, that is actually one of the main workplaces I have. It is the LA team. to Christian Sun. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. Thank you so much, Steve Blanco.
Okay, let's see. Now uh, we need to try. This is like really steep. Hmm. Let's see. I think we are not going to be able to... Not making a tunnel on this one. And we need to extend this station. Oh. Here. Okay, there's still heaps of people here, so I will try and... People... At the fly. Here. This being a terminal station, let's try one of these. Okay, let's see. To the building. That worked! And we need a crossover... ...button here. signals yes then we can extend line three 
Trondheim. Go there. Back to Trondheim. And back to Kongsvinger. And oh, yes. Excellent. Marianne, what do you mean about repeating? Is it like an echo or something like that? Okay, let's speed this up. People are starting to gather up to go to Kristiansund, and that is good. Thank you so much for the super chat, Tony. Okay, so now we have connected Trondheim, Kristiansund, and we have gone from Kongsvinger as well. And we have connected Trondheim, Brumenard, and Bekkefjord. That service is working as a charm too. Uh, let's see how many passengers. Oh, whoa! 230. Might maybe need to put in another train. Let's see here. Actually, I need to expand the tram service in this town.
see if it's possible to upgrade these roads without three buildings removed, seven buildings will be. Okay, let's have to do it. Let's see. Okay, and I have that. Stop. And we will to see if we can and that stop Pispegata let's find out Pispegata and go up here or hold on That and let's do the other one. Like that. I think most of the greater part of the city would be covered. Maybe we should just move this stop right there. Instead, here. Ramper? No, I didn't know that. Uh, I will definitely check that out later. Uh, Frank? Yes, this is still the same game as uh, a couple of days ago. I'm just continuing on building on that game because the possibilities are almost endless. And I think in total right now, uh, I have clocked around seven hours on this map and still um i haven't connected like one third of the map yet and still there's a lot of industry to do and everything and yeah so every time the really cool thing about this game is that even though all you do is like building and connecting things no map you generate is the same and the start is like never the same so <clears throat> like in this map uh the money really start come flowing in when I started doing freight because that was the thing that had the highest potential in the start. And in the previous map that I've been playing privately, uh, it was the other way around. It was actually passenger traffic that was generating most revenue. But on this map, it's actually freight that is doing that. And not only freight, but actually road vehicles so you kind of have to feel it through on in each game to see where the potentials are so yeah uh it's interesting so let's see uh as i said earlier uh 
I'm just transporting like 3% and we're just using like half. Oh, what those uh, two forests can produce. And so I thought that basically might uh, swap this out to a rail service. So basically doing the same, uh, having a train coming from here, picking up logs, going there, picking up logs, coming around up here, delivering the logs to the sawmill, and then transfer the planks from the sawmill down this way and to the tools factory. And from the tools factory and into town, uh, that will be trucks as usual. So yeah, I guess I will get started on that right now. So now we are going for freight stations. Yes. And we just need a one track, 240 meters high speed. these two you to be on the same level Give me over, and we're going to have one here as well. Sleep well, Johan. Well, What? Do you hear instead? now would be possible see there and we see up here Sure. 
Jerry, don't jinx it. Thank you. Save game. Yes. Okay, so then let's start collecting things. Yeah, what's this look? This does not look good. We have to do something. Um, so, this elevation right here that can be moved. It's doing basically do. over again but we are going to lower it yes now i think i will be able to It's a bridge. Here we are. And we're going to at least need 140. 60 bridge. Suffice. It's one for me. Stone. Stone or steel, people. Stone or steel. Stone. Okay, so 140. That should do because the trains I'm going to be running will have a maximum speed of 140 kilometers per hour. This line. Epic. And go from here. Here. That? Now we're going up here, and since I think. There's going to be slight height difference and we're going punching through a mountain anyway, so just trying to keep it like 140. Is that there we are? Yeah, that's it. See, connect, connect. All right, and then we need to clean up down here so the trucks trucks actually have access 
to sawmill streets upgrades and we don't need trams on this one keep don't want to Slope too steep. Oh, well, let's move it. Slope. Slope, slope, slope. better solution. Here we are. Like that. Uh, Frank in the game. Uh, uh, well, uh, trucks and trains do have a mission, but that is not kind of the environmental part of it, it's basically more noise. Uh, so these forces are, they kind of renewable all the time. So they just produce, they don't chop down the woods around it. So it's just kind of like a f industry, a factory that replants and yeah. So it's just, it just goes and goes and goes and goes. Uh, Trun Haldor, uh, I actually use your mods and a couple of other mods, so uh, let's see, we can we can check out the train list. Um, let's find a depot. Roads. I use some of the road vehicle mods and... Here. Buy vehicles and... Some stuff by Flint. And that Japan, uh, that Taiwan dude, I'm not sure what his name is. Uh, yeah, that is basically, and a lot of, a lot of Europe stuff. And what I'm really waiting for is basically <laughs> having the flirt. I just need the flirt. And um, I would be, then I would have been running a full-fledged NSB service slash V thing. So I'm actually considering downloading Blender myself and making class 69 or maybe class 70. I'm not sure. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, these, uh, these are nice and the kiss is really nice too. Uh, even though it's all in German. Uh, and other mods, uh, mods I'm using, uh, there are a couple of track mods, mods uh, especially for high speed tracks. And other things that I'm missing is basically Norwegian signaling systems. And I know you're working on Catenaries, so yeah. get done with 3d modeling i know it's just gonna be so time consuming doing that so and running this youtube channel do you think i have time for that <laughs> basically you guys are studying and you don't have time either so yeah
as Steve Blanco. Uh, if it feels different driving trains during the circumstances right now, uh, no, not really. Uh, uh, let's say this way, I'm 50% suspended from work uh, because every driver here in the west part is suspended 15%. Uh, there are a lot of conductors who are suspended as well. Uh, and we don't know when we can start running full service again. Uh, there are a lot of trains not going. And even though our society is kind of crawling slowly back to normal. Uh, yeah, there's still just not enough tourists to be running full service. And... That means that they don't need me that much and basically suspended 15%. 15% less pay and 15% more spare time. So maybe I should get down to 3D modeling. Whoopsie daisy, I think I've done something stupid. Okay, so now we can try and connect the track here. I will definitely be checking out Blender. Um, 
because uh, I think the potential in this game for customization is it's really, really one of the most uh, community friendly games I've seen in a very, very long time. So this is actually, this game is actually worth uh, doing modeling for or making mods because the com community in this game is just, it's purely amazing and there's a lot of really, really good artists and, and enthusiasts that are making content to this game. And that is actually one of the great things about this game as well, because it has almost an indefinitely, indefinite uh, longevity. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you like to, if you like transport games and you are looking for content that is from your country, you're definitely gonna find it for this game. And now we need a depot. Oops. Come on. Buttons. Smack the depot down there and then we just connect it with this. And we need Let's see we have signal there and since we are probably going to be running more trains on this one, I've seen out. In there as well. And now to make the line. So we are having a new line. You're going from here to here, here, and down here. So at yes time, we want you, oh, I'll just make trains for this one first. Build vehicles. Track. So um, for our Norwegian and Swedish friends, what do you say, Hectorail or Green Cargo? Because, for some strange reason, I don't find a Norwegian loco from Cargonet in, in any of these packs. Even though I have seen that it should be in there, but yeah, it uh, doesn't look like it's available. Urdahaldo, yeah, you should have made those places. Aule, Ronosval, Sprakir. And you should have added Guttersru as well and Svingen. I'm not sure if you have Svingen, but yeah. Slightly echo. Uh, it could be.
be the reverb from my room. But it should not be an echo. Aruli and Rolmas was is the closest to you. Uh, did you move to Vam or something? Well, Hectorel is actually known for running a lot of timber, so I'm going to choose that company and need cargo. Need state cars, flatbeds. Let's see, and how much do we need? Let's go with a capacity of 200. Naomi, an uh, in-out burger with a secret menu. Since we actually have a wood service, uh, and to manage this line and cut out the same exchange, can cut out the same transfer, and we can cut out lower the same as well. And we can cut out how much self. And therefore also fed the Like that. So now it's just going to be running grain service up to SM South and bring food into the city. Uh, like that. And then I can just make a new line for the trucks line here here that will actually deliver the freight just by steeple right by trucks uh cargo uh what kind of Let's see we need a truck that can transfer heaps this has a capacity of 20 all cargo and this one okay I'm gonna do some of these four of these bye sign them to line six rename that line Six is going to be oh, my full service. Oh, so you moved to Aule uh, on the lower part since you're just literally just a 15 minute walk from the station. So that means you leave pretty close to the center. Running this train with 200 of 200 of wood, 
and this is now producing transporting 76 percent and we're up to 214 there and this one is still pretty low but yeah hopefully it will catch up so let's see Wow, okay, so it's only available for that time period. Okay, I understand, I understand. Okay, now we can maybe check you. This one. Which line? Sam, you are actually not unloading. Oh, I actually got money for that? And if this continues and I get the production and shipment up into this area right here, uh, it will upgrade the factory and they will produce even more. Present up to 202. This is looking better and better. Zero in shipment? Oh dear, I have chosen completely the wrong trucks. Fresh vehicles. Do this and we have to replace everyone because these don't... F ah, I need something that can move tools. Uh, and this one can do all cargo. 
This one does all cargo as well. Uh, this one, yeah. Replace four. No. This one. All cargo is four. There. Now we should start to produce. Yes. Here we are. This should start to produce even more as well. Okay, damage vehicles, I'll just replace all of these with new ones. Just have one of them. In two sets. That. Okay, now we are basically very in the red, and that is basically because I invested in some new trains and trucks and stuff like that. Uh, you see, vehicles, 41 million, and tracks, nothing in this far at that end. So yeah, I think and hopefully, yeah, everything is basically in the blue. It just upgraded. Two hundred and seventy seven. We are basically going to need a new Just going to clone this one. Let's see, I won't. This horrible view. Come on. Thank <laughs> you. 
still over 200 so might look like we're gonna need another train page up and page down thank you let's see Surprised because this game is fairly addictive. Uh, yeah, very fast for freight. Uh, it's actually 140 kilometers per hour, but I have like sped uh, sp uh, sp it up pretty fast. So this is now producing 100%. Uh, so is this one. It basically looks like I am going to need one more train. That train, I don't think that needs to be that long. Let's see. Electric. Victor. Let's have that as a green car. Oh. To do half of the capacity of the other one, so. Good. Oops. One sixty capacity one sixty. Let's try that. And Would a hold on? Yeah, could be, it could be. I 
Uh, Eric, yeah, uh, I know, but I was considering trying to space them out, or, yeah. Okay, this is now looks looks like this is now running smoothly. Twenty seventy, we are earning money. Not as much as I hope. See thirty four. Okay, this looks kind of good. Is this project going? Line 3 has 267 passengers waiting. That is actually really good. Here as well, 293. Here, 43. 188 to 20. This. Then I'm basically going to clone this one as well. Stellar, I mean seriously, you are not gonna regret uh, getting this game. Uh, I think it's really cheap too to be this good. So yeah, they uh, uh, those who actually made this game, they really deserve it. Uh, it's uh, it's a really good game. Airport, yeah, they actually have airport as well. Uh, I haven't built in one. Uh, basically because I've never been able to uh, really earn money on it. Uh, I tried several times, but yeah, this basically looks like a very good place for an airport. Hmm. What if? What if? Where are you people going? Details. Yes, I'm for the Brumadar. Hey. So we get some soon. So for the is actually for the yes I'm. Wow, so that person is actually traveling all the way from Ferda and all the way over to Yesheim. So that actually makes it possible to actually build an airport and fly these people straight over and down to Ferda. That's actually possible.
Okay, let's see if we are going to do this. Um... Is it like going to do that pass through on the instead? going to try on this endeavor um okay so my plan now is to try see how this works is to build an airport at yes sign since i saw there were, were a lot of passengers here at um at christian soon that actually comes all the way from yes sign uh, Basically because they are switching over to regional train here at Kristiansund to go to Ferda. So I actually think I'm going to try it to build an airport here. And so that those people actually have the chance to choose a faster option and fly straight home. Yes, Steven Blanco, the super chats and super stickers, they are, they are actually tips. Or if you want to do it through Streamlabs, you can actually just uh, hit the Streamlabs icon you see on top of the channel banner. In case we're going to need an airport. So what is this colliding with? Oh, is it the tunnel underneath it might be colliding with? So let's build configure this one. Configure platforms, cargo disk, passenger boats. Let's make this look fancy. That platforms tracks. Then we are going to build a road. Now, let's try to place the airport. Now it worked. But I would really like to have those buildings. The other side. 
it's not not possible It's in the catchment area too. Eric, what? You're warning me? Go uh, stop me for doing what? See you later, Stellark. The airport is too loud. Uh, yeah, I know if you're thinking about the emissions from the airport, uh, but stop what? City will die. Okay. Goodbye, airport. Yeah, uh, but I had tr actually tried before to place an airport further away from the city and people didn't use it. So, do you have a tip? Yeah, I could actually do that. So if I have a station right here, I could place the airport like up here and just drag a line over and then have them flying from here and all the way to further. Okay, free toy. Light to get, it's going to be. <laughs> uh, so we have this city here and then that means I will have to find a more suitable place to... Um, to, to, to put the airport so as far away from the city as possible and actually it's possible to use those two cities to have like an airport express train going through both of them. So if I place the airport over here would that be too far away or... Okay, let's see. Let's try this. We are going to build an airport. It's 
so if we have airport here let's see have to bear in mind the stations should be that's coming out there going like this so the airport should be placed in this direction so approximately here So that is one airport. And for a placement for the other airport, it should also be far out of town. It's an extension from this. And then I will just put it up here because then I can continue from Yesheim to Watze. So if I place this one here. Well, that is way keeps a lot of people gone. Sixty percent is a lot of people. Uh, Jacob, yeah, I have seen Train Sim World. Uh, I actually have it, and I have actually streamed an episode where I did play it. And I am definitely going to play it again, because that game was kind of cool. Okay, like this. And then we need to have a street. But not, like, per se, for cars and stuff. Uh, you guys who are transport fever professionals, uh, do people actually travel by car to the airport? How do I actually change the runway direction? Or landing direction, is that possible? Buildings, and we are going to build that... See? Oh, they station people station airport express train station Let's see two tracks just do this let's just finish this part first uh okay so rex
did know me? Ah, <laughs> cool. Okay, so next one here. And the road. And then add the rest. Let's see. Okay. Uh, Eric, I will try not to mess up. Uh, this is actually the first time I'm really trying like a service with an airport express train. So this is going to be quite interesting. So yeah. Oops. Mm. This should have been moved. Bulldoze. Goodbye. Let's see. And the station. Sure. And still really stupid because the whole station should have been tilted.
है Yes, I actually pressed mute, so I have been sitting here and talking and talking and talking and no one has heard anything. Oh, epic fail. Uh, if I can set the airport schedule, no, uh, but I can tell it to how long, I think I can tell it how long it's going to wait. Uh, on each stop. Let's see. Maximum waiting time, three minutes. I'm not sure, I don't think so. You can tell it to like fully load before it takes off, but yeah, then you'll just basically be losing a lot of money. Uh, no. Of course, I'm not well, cowgirl, I'm just the voice inside your head. I'm your conscience. 
We haven't been speaking for a while. How are you? Wow, the city of Fre Frekkefjord has actually surpassed Oslo in amount of citizens. They account in a game looks really good and healthy. We're earning like 44 millions a year or something, and 1.2 billion in the account. That is very good. But still, uh, considering the amount of passengers going one way and that the airline is earning 3.2 millions and you have the airport express train that is 2.1 in the negative, this is not really a fruitful endeavor and we'll see how this actually develops uh, because I will end this transmission now and basically be going to bed uh, and we will definitely continue playing this and trying to connect more stuff to see how this goes and see how the map will look like in the end. So with that I wish you a terrific night and I hope you all sleep well and I also hope that you're staying safe and that you're being responsible and keeping your distance to other people. Stay safe, happy crisis, see you all next time, bye!